The future of the Raphael Sims statue is still up in the air. Days after, Mobile's, Mobile City employees at the mayor's discretion plucked the Confederate admiral from his downtown perch. Mayor Sandy Stimson making his first public comments on the issue today. News 5's Chad Petrie has a look at where the city goes from here. After making the bold move to remove a century-old Confederate statue, Mobile Mayor Sandy Stimson says he's keeping his personal views to himself. I'm not going to answer the question about what is the ideal because that's my opinion, and I don't think that, that I am not the decision maker at this point in time of what its uh, ultimate home should be. The mayor said conversations with the Alabama Attorney General's office are ongoing. Stimson said he's not sure the city can avoid a fine or a lawsuit. Making sure that we uh, cross T's, dot I's, uh, and then uh, after that's done, then there'll be a pathway forward. After that, they still need to figure out who owns the statue. We've got to go through the documentation to see who owns it. I mean, there are people that off the cuff can tell you quickly that, you know, the city should own it. There's some others that say we have a right to it. And so let's just get it cleared before we start that conversation. Tuesday was the first city council meeting since the statue's removal, but no one brought it up. Councilman Fred Richardson would like to see the admiral in a museum. What he fought for ought to be underneath his statue. I don't think nobody ought to be a misunderstand what Admiral Sam was fighting for. And the fight over the statue has barely started. In Mobile, Chad Petrie, WKRG News 5.